Hey guys, just go here today. I'm reacting to the Dead by Daily update 7.4.1 Buff Expatch. This just released as I'm recording this, like, well, like maybe a few, like a few minutes ago. So I'm actually, um, so this is actually the first one that I've actually read at a pretty good time. Um, played a lot of this game earlier. Unfortunately, I did not finish the page I was on, but I, I think I finished four or five tiers of the rift. Something like that. And, uh... And then... And then I finished all the easy challenges for me in the current tome, so that I just... Then we're kind of older ones. Unfortunately, um, didn't get to make as much progress as I was hoping to, but that's fine. Um, so they have a release schedule here. So this released, well, right when I basically right when I saw this, and I already have the game updating to include these. So that's good. Uh, the Bone Chill Winter Event starts December fourteenth at eleven a.m. Eastern. I'm kind of happy about that because. That releases during, like, winter break for a lot of people. So, more people will be able to play it. Oh, the virtual winter event tome starts the same day as well at the same time. So, no one's surprised because they always do. Uh, features. UX. Input icons on killer's power stay visible, becoming semi-transparent when that input cannot be used. Interesting. So I guess they changed how viewing the killer power works to, I guess, make it a bit more clear. It'll be interesting to see. Um, doesn't really mean anything, but it'll be interesting to see. Uh, content, the good guy. I, after playing so many matches against him, my honest opinion is I feel like survivors need more to see him. He's just too small. He's the, he's just too small for the game to work in this game. And, and and even though he's here, I still believe that he he's just too small. It's like impossible to see him and on certain maps like forget about it. It's so difficult. Um, so I still think they should do something, um, to, like, allow you to see him better, because the footfalls is not enough. The footfalls, they help, but not by much, so, um, there is now input protection, when entering Heidi Hell mode, a small delay before you can exit the mode to prevent double tapping and accidentally wasting the power by actually being able to. <sighs> Interesting. I do think that's a good thing, but it's just like, he's just. I, I don't know. Um, I do think that's good because now you can. Um, uh, so now you can't actually waste our because I orange a few times. I don't know if they were in videos or not, but orange a few times when playing him has wasted the power. So, I was fixer. Oh my god, boy. So one of his, so one of the, so the trickster iridescent where I believe you reload after, or one of the trickster iridescent add-ons, I believe, or at least a add-on. I believe the memento bleed add-on is iridescent, but I could be wrong. I don't play trickster very often. Uh, increase the bonus throw speed from memento blade to 10% with fire set. I think that's good. Um, a lot of people have been complaining that current trickster is worse than old trickster. I don't think that's true. He's just a little different. Um, the reason why I don't think that's true is because they wanted survivors to get more of a chance, which is why they increased the laceration meter. And he, and he was just... Um, and the throw rate was too high. For me. And they, they thought that the throw rate was too high when four someone back to free. So it obviously feels slower than the PCB, but it's like the first knife throw of, like, 
you know, the old trickster, but just for every knife now. Uh, they remo they increased uh, main event time by two. I'm still I still think they should have made it more, but that's just me because you get it a lot and you can just absolutely destroy people with this. Still, um, it's less time now, but like, like they're they're trying. But yeah, so I guess and I know a lot of people were complaining that they felt too slow. So I think it's good that they updated that add on to address those concerns. Uh, bug fixes, archives. <sighs> I love how when I start recording a video is when I start yawning. Okay. Fix an issue where no audio feedback would play when interacting with the glyph. Audio. Fix an issue that costs the good guys VO lines to overlap and causes license ICO to be silent. I really hope, something I'm hoping they do is add more ways to um, do glyph challenges. Um, give us help with the glyph challenges. Uh, me and Orange were playing this game together uh, a few days ago. And I got absolutely dumpstered. <laughs> I'm a killer. Like, I was getting destroyed and there's nothing I could do. And my challenge was green glyphs. And I needed 10. And the amount of matches it would take for me to get one every... I got... I played around 10 matches. Probably a little more. And I got, oh, could only find three. And then later I managed to find one more. But then I had played well over the, the amount of ma uh, matches that I needed to finish the challenge. And couldn't get any progress. So uh, me and Orange are hoping that someday they'll add more ways, like either a way for someone else who doesn't have the challenge to see it and can alert you somehow that it's there, like whether revealing its aura to the person who has it or um, doing something, or just at least being able to see it as well. I doubt they ever will, but it would just make the glyphs so much easier. Like, obviously, the white glyph, the purple glyph, and, of course, the orange glyph, you don't need that. Red glyphs, blue glyphs, yellow glyphs spawn pretty much anywhere on the map, so it would be helpful to have it for those. And then green glyphs are a flipping nightmare. You might be able to see their aura, but by the time you see their aura, it's kind of a pointless time because... Um, the exit gates have to be ha powered, and then you gotta see their auras for not nearly enough time. It would be nice if you could at least um, see the auras forever at that point, but it's a time delay, so it's been easy for me to screw up where they are, which is frustrating. Uh, bots. Bots no longer run away when a player fails to complete a heal action on them. We're no longer trying to heal players out of the dead state by using plot twist. Bots will now attempt to get the player's attention if they want to be healed. Bots can no longer blind the masterminds while being thrown. God, be nice if they could, though, because my god, Wesker's a nightmare in this game. <laughs> He's good. He's good. Thank god, I, thank god we see less of him, because jeez, man. Uh, char characters. Fix an issue that caused the Huntress arm to glitch when throwing a hatchet while looking down. Fix an issue that caused the knife to turn a record after charging a blink and picking up a down survivor with the matchbox at home. Huh. Fix an issue that caused the Demogorgon to traverse was they carried survivor if it cancelled the traverse interaction at the last second and picked up a down survivor. Uh, fix an issue that caused the Demogorgon's portal or us to be white instead of the yellow after being activated. Fix an issue that caused the survivor perspective to flip. Repeatedly, when the good guy interrupted them during a wall, fixing an issue that cost the killer's camera to clip into Charles Lee Ray during the wiggle out animation of the survivor. When looking slightly down on a missed attack, 
Vaccination that caused interaction. Props to remain visible when the good guy was performing a slice and dice. Vaccination caused random the good guy via sometimes display when loading into or leaving the match. Vaccination caused the virus to be misaligned while being carried by Charles Lee Ray, the good guy. Vixen issue caused the good guy's camera to be extremely misaligned, a clipping after interacting with a glyph. Environment slash mass. Vixen issue on the Nostromo wreckage map where characters can get on top of some debris. Last time I got on that, last time I was on that map, I got robbed of the achievement So, uh, for doing the gen. So... There's an issue on Gas Haven map where the Demogorgon could get on top of a pallet. Fix the global issue where the doors of lockers would clip in the stairs of the basement. Fix the issue of the underground complex map. <laughs> Working on the start of a generator. Fix the issue of Cold Tower map where killers could land on top of crates. Vaccination Bad Hand Preschool map where the killer was unable to vault the window of the killer's shack. Vaccination Issue and Family Residence map where the good guy was able to land on top of blockers. Vaccination Issue where traps could be hidden underwater in the Yamako State map. That sounds awesome though that you could put them down there. Vaccination Issue where killers were unable to grab survivors on subject to the Village Elementary School map. You are, oh my god, I'm sorry for all the yoni. For whatever reason, the last few times, like, I started one of these videos where I'm reading something, um, about that by daylight, I um, get, I immediately get hit with, like, um, yawning. Like, I haven't been yawning all day today, and I, I mean, I've been up for a bit, so I'm decently awake, and I'm just yawning as soon as I start making a video, which is frustrating, because obviously you guys don't want to hear me yawning the whole time. Uh, you lie, fix an edge with that kit. You fix an edge case where switching between characters was an identical perk inventory, except for perk levels. I fell for update. The inventory fixed the store banner subtitles in the features section. So that's not cut before the end, the end of certain languages. Fixed an issue of the archives rift menu where the Oryx cell reward preview stayed displayed as reflecting a blood point reward. Huh. Well, okay, well, alright. So overall, not much craziness. A lot of it are, again, just little fixes that don't fully matter. That's typically what it is in big fixes. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, I mean, obviously, some of it's good. Quite a bit of it is good, but like the main things um, are, of course, the input icon on killer powers, uh, the visible thing. No, no, uh, that, that, and then the. Uh, turkey. And then Chucky now having immunity towards actually wasting his power, and then tr that trickster add on gaining more throw speed. Um, but that's it. That there's there wasn't much else that was um, of any that were like good changes. Um, they typically don't do. They, of course, save changes like that for big updates. So, like, mid-chapter PTBs, uh, normal, like, chapter PT, you know, like, the normal chapter PTBs usually. Usually the little bug fixes are just fixing little things that, again, don't fully matter. But this one had some interesting stuff. Occasionally they do have um, things that are a bit more interesting and a bit more meaningful but yeah um thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it make sure to like comment subscribe share the video ring the bell do all the graphic garbage your health is that alive be so much and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye